Vote moment for Niagara. We'll start with comments from Greg, and then we'll go questions for the players and back to Greg. Thank you, David. Um, I just want to first congratulate Iona. Uh, what, what a terrific program. Uh, I thought they were outstanding uh, all season, and they continued that today. Um, really proud of our guys, um, not just for today, but for the whole season. Uh, the, the resiliency, the fight um, was on full display. And uh, win or lose, it, it's about laying it on the line. And I thought that uh, our guys gave everything they had today. And um, really appreciate, um, you know, our two guys that uh, don't have any eligibility, Sam Iorio and Joe. Uh, you know, appreciate their trust and belief in, in coming to Niagara and helping continue to lift this program. Uh, continue to lift this program and help us continue to grow and uh, what this team accomplished uh, this year I, it's really hard to see um, but I think time and taking a step back um, from the regular season to the bye to the wins to the semifinals to what these guys are doing in the community in the classroom is something that uh, I'm really really proud of. Okay we'll go questions for the players first Jade. Noah, when you look back at the past two years, what are you going to miss most about this program, and what can you say about the job that Coach Paulus and the staff have done preparing you, not just for pro basketball, but for life in the real world as well? Well, I mean, I know you said that, but I have another year of eligibility, so I'm not, you know, like, I'm, I still can play basketball here. Um, you know, I just think, you know, Coach Paulus has done a great job of just having us connected on the court and off the court. Um, in my two years here, it, it, it's a, a big family, you know. That's why these games hurt so much. Um, you know, we're, we're crying in the locker room because, you know, we're a family. It's, we're not just teammates on the floor, but we're almost, you know, it's like we're brothers. So, um, you know, they do a great job of um, helping us be connected and, um, you know, yeah, so. This question's for both Noah and for Aaron. What is the most challenging thing about Iona each time you face them? What was the most challenging thing about Iona tonight? Uh, they just match, you know, physicality. You know, they're a great program. You know, they're led by a great coach, and you know, they're just just great players. So you know, when you got a great coach and great players, you know, guys that play hard, you know, sometimes that can be a little bit challenging. So you know, credit to them. You know, they got the wins. So. I mean, you know, they have great guard play. You know, they're athletic, physical, strong. Um, they do a good job of utilizing their strengths, um, and they're well coached. So, you know, take you know credit to them. They're just a good ball club. You, you know, it was a 53-50 game. You know, with late in the second half. What did Iona do specifically to really take control of this game and open that lead to 10? Oh, uh, I think they hit a they, you know a couple of tough shots. Um, you know, they responded well. And through, through adversity, and they, they made a, a big run, and it was hard for us to you know come back from that. So, like I said, they're a good ball club. They made a lot of winning plays. Rachel, I thought they did a really good job um, forcing a couple of turnovers and uh, converting off of those. They certainly hit some difficult shots, and, and uh, you know they have they have uh, some really good players over there, and they certainly stepped up. And uh, I thought that uh, offensive rebounding too. Uh, we had them at three offensive rebounds in the first half. And uh, they ended up getting eight in the second half. And so uh, over the course of time, um, that, that takes its toll. And I think that that's a credit. Obviously, uh, Nelly is a, a tremendous player. And Noah, uh, Ken Kratzer, Cam Vets Media. Uh, you were having quite a battle out there with uh, uh, Barrett John-Louis and uh, the Iona defense. They were playing man-to-man -man most of the time. How did you approach uh, the Iona defense? I mean, just like any other game, um, I know that I'm going to get their best defender every night. It's going to be multiple guys coming towards me. So, you know, I just have to do a good job of making the right play and trusting my teammates. But, I mean, they're, they're physical, like I mentioned, and um, they do a good job of really, you know, attacking attacking the, the other team and stuff like that in the full court and, and, and pressing the entire game. So, And Aaron, Aaron just ask you about uh, facing uh, Nelly Jr. Joseph. Uh, uh, Sam and, and Harlan were uh, putting pressure on, but uh, Joseph started to make plays, in the, you know, as you said, in the last – uh, 10 minutes of the game. What was the challenge of Nelly Jr. Dosa tonight? Uh, he's just a big body. You know, he's, he's a great player, and I just think that he just capitalized on you know any small mistake that we made. So you know, credit to him. He's a hell of a player, and uh, credit to those guys. Thank you. Okay, question for Greg or Rachel? Go ahead. You're good. Go ahead, Rachel. This game, the team was. Iona were matching 
to the basket for basket, play for play. Was it exhausting out there? Was it exhilarating? Did you get a sense of energy or a rush out of this? What was it like to play in that kind of game? I think it's a, it's a blessing to play in these type of games. Um, you know, you could just feel how connected we were, and, it, and it's, it's a testament to, you know, who everybody is on our team, 1 through 14. Um, you know, it, it, it's always fun to be able to play against the, the best team in the league. So, um, you know, we, we had them, in my opinion. Like I said, they made a run. And, um, you know, we, we're a new team. We're learning, still trying to figure things out. So I'm proud of, you know, the way my guys fought. My teammates, AG, played pretty well today, really well. And, um, you know, he's getting better every day. And um, this is just the beginning of who he's becoming. Greg, three top five seeds in a row um, at the MAC championship. Uh, what are you building at Niagara? Well, we're trying to lay the, the foundational pieces for, for what this program uh, can become. And it's one of the things I shared with this group is um, that we want them to be proud of what they've done here and, and what future teams will do. Um, they're going to be a part of it and the class that came before them and the class that came before them. And so uh, to be able to do that, to get to two semifinals, uh, to get to double digit wins again, um, as I mentioned, that's just a piece to it um, with, with who these people are becoming as leaders in the community, who they are in the classroom. Um, and, and so for us, we want to continue to build off of that. Uh, we want to play meaningful games in, in late February and March to try to put ourselves in these positions. And I think it's a credit to, uh, you know, I'm very fortunate to have a terrific coaching staff, uh, support staff, and uh, these guys um, with, with buying into our process of development individually and as a team. Greg, to follow up on that, when we spoke in October, you still weren't sure how the growth would come to manifest itself with so many new players mm -hmm. learning new roles on this team. Now, five months later, what can you say about the job that this unit has done collectively together to get to this stage? Yeah, I think it's, it says a lot about their character of, of who they are. And if you look back on who they are as people when they first got to campus, um, who we were our first practice, um, who we were our first game, and, and where we are now, just the growth um, that each has made as an individual, as a team, and, and then... You know, I know David asked the question about as a program, and, and th that uh, that comes through 30 plus games and having a winning season. And um, there's only been a couple of those in the last 13 years. And uh, you know, you asked about three top five finishes. Uh, the last time that happened, I believe, was uh, late 2000, 2008, maybe 2009 to 10, somewhere around there. Um, so I'm just really proud of our guys, um, and hopefully we can continue to learn from these type of lessons because it's. Uh, it's amazing what sport teaches you about who you are and what you can become. And, and these moments are really hard. It's, it's emotional in the locker room because you put so much into it. And so for us, we just want to try to continue to be the best version of ourselves. And I thought we left it all on the courts. And that's all I can ask of our guys. And then when next year's group comes, you know, what is, what is that team? How can we maximize those guys um, to be the best version of themselves? And that's what we'll try to do when that point comes. In the last 10 years, Niagara has gotten to 15 plus wins for the second time, more than 10 wins in the conference. Congratulations, guys, and we will see you next season. Go ahead. Thank, thank you for the conversation. I also just want to um, share my pre I don't know, is Rich here? No, Rich exactly. is not here. I, I just want to congratulate him on, on his retirement. Thir 35 years of, of being a, a commissioner of, of the MAC um, with. with the growth that this conference has made under his leadership. Um, I just want to say thank you. I've only had the chance to know him for, for four years, uh, but his uh, leadership, uh, what has become a friendship um, over the course of time, the, the longest tenured commissioner uh, in the history of college athletics, I believe. Um, just want to say thank you to him and congratulations to him because he's done a lot for uh, a lot of student athletes, a lot of coaches. And uh, for me just to be a part of this conference and to uh, be a part of his journey for a couple of years is something that uh, uh, I truly appreciate and just want to congratulate him. Okay, classy way to end it. Thanks, Greg. Thank Thanks, you. guys.